Hi guys, this is Pinky, the housewife. I'm speaking a lot better now. Okay, guys. Um, you know, from my mouth, my mouth second. I just said that word wrong, but uh, I'm speaking a lot better. It's getting better over time. But um, oh, I hope you all got a chance to watch the new uh, season. Um, just trying to fix this hat. This new season, first episode of Real, Real Housewives of Atlanta. It came on tonight. The first episode. And that jaw-dropping jaw episode that Carlos King was speaking of. I don't know what he's trying to do. But let me just uh, put my disclaimers out there. Okay, um, that everything is alleged. This is my opinion, my opinion only. This video that I'm making is for educational and entertainment purposes only. Okay, with that being said, um, let me just say one thing. Everybody asks me why don't I wear my, uh, that I need a, a pen on my, uh oh, well that one dropped. I got another one, I'll just show it to you on a microphone um, and I have an, another microphone as well another kind uh, the stand one uh, I don't like them okay I really don't because they make the house they make everything echoes uh, I've said that time and time again uh, guys don't worry about the uh, microphone okay I know one dropped down here I can't pick it up but I'll wait till somebody maybe come by and pick it up for me but, um, yeah, so here's my pen on microphone, and I know it pins on like that or somewhere on your clothing. I got all this granite, travertine floors, granite everywhere, high ceilings, arch ceilings, double, triple depth ceilings and everything, and all this, uh, big giant open spaces. I'm just setting clothes up on you. Uh, but uh, it makes my house echoes, okay? No matter where I go, okay? It echoes for uh, the Husky. It echoes for Coda, that's the uh, Odyssey. So it echoes for anybody. So it was echoing before I started doing YouTube. Okay, so don't even worry about it. Thank you guys. I love you though. But. Uh, with that being said, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button uh, right down here. You know, the little red square. Go ahead and hit that, guys. It doesn't cause anything to hit the like and subscribe button. And you can go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Okay? Thank you. And if you want to be typing out your comment, you can or you can wait and hold it. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, you know, with the uh, today was the first episode of the new season. This was season 15. Woo! They've been around a long time. Season 15, episode one. Just starting, just kicking off. And, whew, and you know who was on there, right? That thirst, thirsty, snake, dried up, thirsty, snake, pink, uh, Devil in the pink suit, uh, snake in the ground, snake on the ground, narcissist, Montel, Montel Hope, just my opinion, okay, so I, just my opinion that he's, that's what I think of him, it's just my opinion, guys, but uh, he must be thirsty, this man is looking for some money, and he's going around fooling with the wrong ladies, these women don't play <laughs> He's with the wrong set of women. He can play that stuff with all the uh, little women except for Melanie. Um, uh, but he can't play. He can play with all those little women on his show, but Melanie, because Melanie, she ain't saw that, been there, done that. She see him, see right through him when she come, and that's why she she keeps him at bay. Keeps like yeah. But these women here, they're not playing with him. They don't play. They ain't got time for it. They've been around 
this housewife stuff. They bent, they, 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 love and marriage ain't got nothing on them. These are, the, most of these women are the OGs. I don't mean old. They just been on the show for a while. Don't get it twisted, okay? So, it's, uh, you know, mm-mm. And, you know, they got it titled, all right. Uh, who's gonna check me boo? No, who's gonna check my boo? And wait now, when you think about that, let me just do this. When you think about that, that's Sheree asking who's gonna check my boo. That man ain't claiming you. He ain't claiming you. Now, I'm gonna get back in order as it comes, but he didn't, he haven't claimed you. And if anybody saw what I saw when they, their first interaction together, it was like, hey friend, buddy friend. It was that kind of vibe. Hey friend, give me five. You're my sister, you're my brother, you're my cousin. It wasn't like a man that, he wasn't even looking at her like that. He like I'm young. Okay. Did she make herself look foolish? Time will tell at the end. But right now, if I if you ask me anything, yes. She looked just as thirsty and thirsty and and, and dry like she was ready to <laughs> It's like woman, don't make yourself look that bad. You should be smarter than that. But anyway, oh my lord. Okay, basically, this show was all about showing everybody where they at, okay? Um, basically, it was about the, um, the party, the birthday party, Ross 40th an annual birthday party, which was a, looked beautiful. I think Sonya did a great job, okay? And, um, and then the, the cat fight, because Martel was a, 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 a she-devil. Another, he's fighting another woman. So he was the other she-devil. Okay, let me go in order again. Okay, guys, I'll get you straight, all right? For, the, for everybody that didn't, didn't, didn't watch the show. Okay, I've been watching this show for, for, for I don't know how long. Oh, many years, so. But anyway, um, it starts out with Sheree and Martel. Sheree at, at, at her house, right? And Martel shows up in a, in a white suit. Man, he just want to be seen in that white ass suit. Give it a rest, man. If it ain't a pink suit, it's a white suit. If it ain't a white suit, it may be an orange suit. A green suit, maybe. A yellow suit. Oh, shoot, I better be quiet. I got a yellow one. But I'm a woman. Okay? And mine's a short suit. But instead of long pants or skirt, it's uh, short pants. Not short pants, kind of hot pants. Yeah. But anyway. Oh, and I must say, I got a pink suit, too. But my name is Pinky, so. <laughs> but anyway, starts off with him in a white darn suit. And they did not give the vibe that they was dating. And she said, her word said, she's been talking to him every day since that, uh, since she was on the reunion. They've been talking every day. You've been, no, seeing each other every day. Uh, every week, not every day, every week. She says, seeing them every week. You all been seeing each other every week. Seem like y'all haven't seen each other but over the phone. Or video chat or something because y'all don't have that energy. It was no no uh, love energy or no hot for your pants energy or anything. He's looking at you like Grandma Gray. And don't nobody want him, but anyway, you lusting over that. You know how you didn't even get that thing checked. Because before the show even started good, it was 
He got another woman anyway. For the show, even her. He got another woman in Atlanta anyway. A younger woman. Oops, did I say that? Oops, did I say that? I didn't really say that. But anyway, yeah. And he looked so stupid. And he just had to put, go in your bedroom and change his clothes. And he, he was drooling over the fact that you got a, uh, he thought another woman was coming so y'all can have a threesome. He was drooling over that when he saw a woman through the door because he, he, he could tell, anybody can tell that was a younger looking woman. He was drooling over that. He thought he was getting ready to get some, some young blood. I know blood like yours. Yeah. Mm -mm. He was ready to get some young blood in his body. Oh, put his body in some, whatever. But anyway, that's that you know. If y'all just got together and y'all been just trying to make something, why is he thirsting over another woman at your house anyway? I can let you know right there, girl. You need to, uh, you need to, the energy wasn't there. Just put it like that. I'm going to leave you alone, okay? I'm just leave you alone. It, 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 it didn't even look right. It didn't even look right. Mm -mm. That energy wasn't even right. Showing up, talking like just went to the uh, a photo shoot, uh, shoot with Upscale magazine. He probably did, but it didn't look right. Okay, but anyway, let's get get away from you because you all just look like two friends hanging out. And, if, and even sitting down, the energy wasn't even right. And you all trying to make us think that y'all getting ready to go do some hanky-panky. The energy wasn't right for no hanky-panky. It looked like, looked like y'all was getting ready to go downstairs and play, play some pool, shoot pool or something. Or play some dominoes. <laughs> I don't know. Bingo. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever you was getting ready to do. But let's make it on. Let's get on to Candy's house. Okay? We got on to, uh, not, we wasn't at uh, Candy's house. No. It was at uh, her factory. Yes. Candy Coated Factory. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some energy. And they wasn't even trying to pretend like they was trying to do anything. They were just, Candy was just uh, in her office with Don Juan and her old time friend that she haven't seen in six years, Carmen. Just talking. Yeah. They were, like they said, feel like old times and everything. They, they miss her. And I think they missed her. And then um, they got up and went on into the uh, little bar area. The little kitchen area they have uh, at the candy coated factory. And then um, Kenya showed up. Looking all great. She had lost a lot of weight. You're looking good, girl. Uh, I, I think everybody looked good uh, on there. Uh, and they was just being themselves. Okay? Uh, and then uh, Candy had another friend that show up. Uh, Another friend of hers showed up. Um, I can't, but she had on a beautiful top. I love that top. Long white and split. Oh, ooh, that top was, I love that. I like that. I'm going to try to find that. Okay, but anyway, um, and it seems like there was, the conversation got into uh, Sheree uh, because uh, Kenya said that, uh, Martell has been in her DM, her Instagram, her DM. He probably tried to be in. Kenya don't want that dusty, no good man. She 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 ain't already been through that. She ain't, she see see what that is. She don't want that. It's like you got an old pair of shoes, and after you warm up, while about a, and then getting kind of worn out, why would you go buy the same old shoes again? Not that a pair of new ones. But get, you know, gave them to Goodwill, but then you want to go back and get them, buy them back. Why would you want to do that? Or buy somebody old else old dusty shoes. Why would you want to do that? That's just like Montel, somebody had old dusty shoes. She she know, she don't want that junk. Can you got too much class to go get somebody else dusty shoes? Okay. And uh, Sheree trying to talk. Talking about she needs some baseboard. Sheree need, uh, couldn't, she need to pay people. You, it took you how many years to finish that house? And and I don't think you've, uh, it, girl, get out of here. You, you, I'm not gonna say what you did just to finish that house. 
Okay, word on the street. Okay, but anyway. Uh, mm, mm, mm. So uh, it was about Montel, the word uh, they was talking about as Martel is saying someone else in Atlanta, somebody younger in Atlanta, and supposed to be with Sheree. That, you know, to me, if you ask me, she looking like a fool. You didn't hear that from me. It's just a ledge. Okay? But they all, then they was talking about her. her uh, Sheree, uh, uh, her, Sheree by, Sheree by, what is it? She by Sheree. You can tell I don't even know because stuff haven't even, she gonna do the same thing that Destiny did. Re grand open, re grand open, another re grand opening, another re grand opening, and never get the sucker off the uh, ground and it flops every time. That's what she be right by Sheree is, Brent. She keeps launching it. It's like a balloon going up and down, up and down. Girl, you need to hang that up and do something else. You need to uh, start a brand on how to get a big booty, a big muscle booty like you. Maybe that'll work, big muscle booty. Start a business, how to get a big muscle booty. Big muscle booty. Oh, boy. Maybe that, that will work for you. Because at least you already got one. And it's already got the muscles in it. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, that her, that she's not selling anything anyway. It was just, she ain't selling nothing. She ain't selling nothing. Nothing is selling. And the tabloids been all over just eating it up. Uh, like one said, um, her... Overpriced clothing site fell, uh, crash. Cherie trends for mishandling uh, She by Cherie brand. Website is down. Nobody's buying. She need to give it up. The stuff, uh, she just slapped her name on somebody else's stuff. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that. I'm just repeating what I, that's just what I heard. Was, you know, I didn't say that. I'm just saying what people are saying. I didn't say none of that. Do I believe it though? Yeah. But did I say it? No. I just I'm just telling you what I heard somebody else said. That's what the people are saying. Yeah. Uh but you know, but like I said, Kenya showed up looking fabulous like, like always. And then another friend of Kenya's came in too. Um, uh, I forgot her name. Um Monica Mo Money Nika Monkeisha. What but she looked pretty with her white uh, beautiful sweater on. Uh, then they started talking about the uh, birthday uh, party and who was going and everything. And then they wondered whether that, was she going to bring that she-devil, Martel? And they said, yes, she probably will. But anyway, then it uh, goes off uh, to, uh, oh yeah, Kenya uh, mentioned that she didn't want to thank uh, the girl that showed up, Candace's friend that showed up for introducing her to a new companion. Yes. I think his name is Roy, Ro Roy, or something like that. Uh, but anyway, uh, R O I, or whatever. But anyway, just looking at him, he's cute. Mm, I see why. He is cute, Kenya. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see what that can. Mm. Coming to, I like that. Yes, yes, yes. Doing good, Kenya. Uh, but anyway, uh, Kenya, Kenya. I think she said her and Mark been separated since 2018. Yeah, 2018. They've been separated. Uh, so yes, girl, you go do what you need to do. Okay. But um, but word on the street. Like they said, Kenny was saying, well, Kenny didn't say this, I don't know who said it, but uh, word on the street is that um, Sheree is upset that she been clip-baited. Girl, you need to stop out other women calling you clip bait or, or thinking you clip bait or you calling yourself clip bait because you are bait for Montel. You, you're a bait that they put on a 
fishing hook and throw it off in the water <laughs> so we can catch him a younger looking fish. <laughs> yeah. Yo, you need to go sit yourself down somewhere. Get somebody uh, that ain't got five and six and seven and ten kids laying around here and somebody that got a job. Somebody got a pro got prospects. Somebody got that own their own place and, and everything. And I look forward to keep their lights on and not trying to uh, live off other women and stop and not sleeping with all these different women and they all up in your face sending you DMs and letting you know that he's at their, their house and and, and 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 they got proof to show to you, putting it all over the uh, internet, letting you know, and social media, letting you know he's right here. He's I'm sitting on his face again. Girl, you need to do better. And how you want that? You, only person want that, you got to be thirsty, okay? It's got to be thirsty. Okay? That's all I got to say. And then, uh, and word on the street that uh, he's still seeing his baby mama. That side chick, Cold Slow, Ariel. He's still seeing her too. And I think you already know that. But I don't I don't think y'all involved. I think you, you go, you, she, she's just lying so much just to get a storyline. Because she, she ain't got a man. Do I believe Martell is her man? No. Do I believe he probably tried it? Yeah. Do I believe, is he is what he want? No. Because you got to remember, he's thirsty too. So you got two thirsty people. What he want, he can't have. Is Melanie. He can't have her. Because she ain't, she don't want that thing. She already seen him and know what he is, so she don't want him. So, since he can't help her, he just playing around with you just for a storyline. Because he know he ain't got one on his own show. It's just a shop around. He just went shopping with, with someone that brought him over to uh, the housewife of Atlanta. That's all, girl. And then shop the story to you. And before you know it, y'all made up a fake story that nobody's buying. Not even you. Because y'all energy is not even buying it. So you take that somewhere else. And let the other people would believe it. Okay? I'm just, I'm just letting you know. It was fake, guys. I didn't see no energy. No, no nothing in it. Even when they even got to the party, still no energy. And every time they showed them, there was no energy in it. They tapping each other and dapping each other like they friends. Okay, so I'm going to get off that. Girl, nobody's buying that. Okay, only one he dapping right now is baby mama. And the other girlfriend in probably uh, Atlanta. Allegedly, that's all I know. That's what I heard, and it's just my opinion. It's just allegedly, okay? And like somebody said, I ain't gonna say it who, but they said, um, now, I just heard this now. This is just what I heard, okay? But every time Martel looks at a woman, she gets pregnant. And luckily for Sheree, she don't have to worry about those things. Because she ain't got no period anymore anyway. Mm-hmm. So she ain't got to worry about that at all. I just heard that. Okay, that's what the people said. I didn't say it. Just, I'm just repeating what I said. What they said, you know, that's all. But anyway, who, Lord of my, she, he already cheating on you, and y'all ain't even together. It's a fake, fake storyline. And you going so, the man already denied dating you so many times before this first episode, denied that he's dating you, looking at you or anything, y'all just friends or he don't know you, but he's still checking for a side chick and everything, and then you got hanging all on, on him like, like you're a school age girl. Girl, you need to know. Stop calling me girl because you think you're, woman, you need to know better, Okay. It didn't work out with your uh, guy from, from the prison house. He dropped you like a hot potato. 
Like somebody said that I didn't say this. I did not say this. This does not come out of my mouth. But somebody, this is just what I heard, okay? Let me see. Let me find it. I didn't say this now. Don't y'all be saying I said this. Let me find it so I can make sure I said it right because I don't want y'all to think I'm saying this here. Let me see. Oh, okay. Here it is. I got it. I got it. Okay? It's said. I didn't say this now. That um, it's a shade now. Because you know I don't do shade. Mm -mm. I don't do shade. But it was shade. A shady, shady person. But a shady, shady person that we lie, okay? It says, um, last year, Sheree was doing community service. That was with uh, the jail bait, you know, the one from, no, you know, in, um, in the lockup, should I say. The one in the lockup, from the lockup, because he got out. So that means the one from the lockup. Okay, yeah. She was doing community service. All last year, the, that year, last year. Now this year, she's doing community properties because she's got a fake storyline with Martell. Properties that he don't even own and he can't even own no properties or can't build no properties because he don't have a builder's license. Nor do he have a job because he's a squatter as it is in somebody else's house. <laughs> Oh, my Lord. I didn't write this. You can't make it up, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. I, just to be honest, I think the scene with, um, love, Love and Marriage Huntsville, the last two scenes of theirs was a little more hotter than this scene, their, their first scene. Because nobody, everybody, <clears throat> didn't nobody, everybody know, when you looked at that scene, there's no way you're going to think they're, they're kickling boots. They don't even. He didn't even have no lust in his eyes. That man is always lusting after somebody. And he didn't even have that in his eyes, looking at you. So let me get back to, to what I, I was saying. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and talk about uh, Sonya. Sonya, Sonya, Sonya. I did like her when she first came on last season, right? I did. She's a beautiful, beautiful person. Not person. She's a beautiful lady. She's beautiful. Beautiful body. She's, uh, and she's an athlete, you can tell. Beautiful body, a beautiful person. And I think her and her husband are a beautiful couple together. She got a house full of people. She got nine people living up in that house. Thank God it's a big house, I hope. I hope it's a big house. Nine people living up in that house. She's taking care of all of them. What she does, take care of all her family. I commend her for that. Who, girl? I hope y'all got a lot of money uh, putting it away, too. Banking it. Okay? Ooh, Lord. Ooh, my Lord. But uh, she's taking care of her mom, her dad. Still beautiful. Uh, there's some beautiful... Um, her mom and dad is beautiful uh, together. Her uh, mom and dad is her, her husband, Rose, is their son, then her sister, her sister husband, and their two kids. So you got um, three kids, and the rest of them is all grown up in the house. Ooh. I would have to. We we'll have live-in staff for that house, because there's no way. I'm suffering already. Ever since the pandemic, I can't even, you know, how you have to stop having people to come in. 
I'm suffering. I've been suffering ever since. Ooh, I don't see how she do it. Whew. And I don't even, I don't even take care of the house. I don't clean. Whew. I wouldn't know what to do. I don't cook either. I don't do anything. I don't even grocery shop. Who I would know what to do? A house full of people. Well, I guess they clean up, but I, I don't know. I wouldn't take no chances. Because when you don't have nobody in your house, like here, except for two people running around, you don't have, and your house is big, you don't have to clean it up. Because ain't rooms nobody ever use, ever go into. They just sit there. Those just empty rooms. With furniture, of course. So you just see a beautiful room. Nobody is using it. That's the beauty of it. And you got a bigger house with nobody in it. Oh. But anyway, then we uh, I'll go off to, uh, but she's planning, Hunter, actually her and her sister got into it uh, at the house. Because, you know, they eat dinner, I think she said, at, they eat dinner at 6 o'clock. I think her sister said that. They eat dinner, every, the whole family dinner together at 6. I, I commend them for that. I love that part. They all eat dinner at, together at 6. And at 6, they're, they're not, they don't supposed to be working at six. And I get, you know, because I guess uh, her and Ralph used to uh, having everybody work for them. The whole, they, the whole family works for her. She got them all working for her. She pay them all and then take care of them too. But anyway, who I know, who Lord, that just gives me a headache just thinking about it. But anyway, then it goes off to Kenya in her house, um, her beautiful daughter. Oh gosh, that girl is so so beautiful, so beautiful. Uh, you know who I didn't see on the show? I just thought about that. Portia. She stoned on me when I said uh, Kenya and her daughter, because I remember Portia got a daughter. They're around the same age. I didn't see her daughter. Oh my God. I just realized that I didn't see him on the show, guys. I don't know why. Maybe she may be in an episode. I don't know. But anyway, uh, then, uh, you know, because uh, she was showing her daughter some new uh, beautiful little outfits and play outfits and stuff and things and dresses and stuff that she got her. And she was just so excited. But anyway, then we leave from there and go to Ken and Todd, uh, which are uh, trying to um, do family night. Uh, eat dinner and everything while he's trying to do business all at the same time for his movie and stuff. Um, and then after that, then we go straight on to Marlo. Oh, Lord. You know, Marlo, I had gave some hope for you. I really did. Guys, I really did. From last season, she was the most pettiest, messiest woman ever because she was angry. Angry people hurt people. And she was angry just my opinion my opinion only okay and it's allegedly but it's my opinion what i saw she was angry and she was taking that anger out on a candy i think because candy she got a family she got a husband she got older kids she got young kids she got a thriving business uh she's very successful and rich okay and she got other families. She got a mom, she got aunt, she got a whole array of folks, right? And I think Marlo was a little jealous of that. You know, I can understand because of where she come from, you know, living in foster homes and and, and, and all the hard times that she's been through, but you don't take it out on somebody. You don't take that out on somebody else that ain't got nothing to do with it, okay? You don't be mad at them because of that. You can be jealous, but keep it to yourself. You ain't got to spew that venom out. You're doing one of those Martell things. Okay? But you're, uh, I do commend you for taking care of your uh, nephews, your two, two boys. I do commend that. And then that you had uh, a life coach, that you have someone coming in to uh, work with you all and talk with you all so you can get better on parenting and they can get better on learning to know what a family is and how to support each other. I understand that. And, and the fact that the boys uh, cook taco dinner for you, that was uh, great. I commend you for that, but I hate to say it. Which, you are vicious and nasty. And do I like you? No. Just because of that. 
You're too vicious and nasty. Okay? And you're too old for that, too. And them boys probably see this show. So you need to you need to straighten up and act right. Just in my opinion. Okay. But uh, then we go back to Sheree's house. Uh, and then Sonia uh, and uh, a friend of hers uh, comes over uh, and do a workout with her. They uh, come over and they do a workout uh, and everything. And this friend, uh, I thought I was going to like her until she started throwing mess around, talking mess about candy and everything. And then they, she had the nerve to her and I was, Sonya talking about how this is her best life and that Martell may be good for her. It's like, have y'all heard? Have, have, do y'all read the news? Do you listen to anything? Have you heard? Girl, this man comes with a whole heap of dump load of crap and he just dump it in your driveway and expect you to shovel it up and just get a shovel in When, when I heard that, I said, Lord, my, here, here goes somebody that I don't know what they're talking about, giving her the wrong advice, and need to uh, tell her that she needs to uh, be smarter and run for the hills and keep other people out of your mouth, like Candy, somebody that you don't want to play with and somebody that you don't know. So that's my thing. And Sonya need to, uh, Sonya's messy too, because Sonya hears stuff, hear people say things, and she run right back and tell the other person what you said. She did this on her first episode uh, last year, and she's doing it again. Sonya, is this your first, second episode? I think it is. Sonya, you don't do that. You should have learned from last episode. You don't do that. It gets you, get you hurt. Somebody gonna I don't believe in violence, but girl, you barking up the wrong tree. And some people are gonna hurt you. Or, or tell you where to go. Mm -mm. Mm. But anyway. Yeah. Then uh we're gonna go on to uh Sign back to Sonya's house. Her, uh, no, Sonya and her mother are uh, going to the vineyard where, that, where the party is going to be thrown at the West. I think it's called the West End Vineyard, uh, where they're throwing the uh, Ross 40th birthday party. And I think the uh, birthday party thing is Hollow Nights. They all dressed uh, back there, back in that day. Everybody was dressed as like walking uh, the, the Black Emmy or the Black uh, Awards or something, um, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but anyway, they all was looking fabulous, stepping out, all decked out and fancy in their minks and their, uh, the, uh, their rolling outfits or, I don't know, Holland Nights. Just think of Holland Nights, guys. Okay? Uh, and, and it's a big difference. This party from the last party she threw for the her first party. Looked like she was throwing a party for, for a child. From the dollar store. She upgraded from that to throwing a hundred thousand dollars. She gave the woman a budget of forty thousand and it went up to a hundred thousand dollar party. I, I think you did great girl. Okay? You did great. Party was nice. That's the only thing I can say. Party was nice. I liked it. Okay? Because uh, Everything else, you was talking, you, you you told that, what that woman said with you and Sheree, Sheree, and went back and told, and then brought the woman to Candy, and Candy almost broke her in half. If, if Candy would have gotten to the woman, you don't want Candy, just because Candy is short, y'all don't want her to pop off on you. Yeah, y'all just mad because Candy be talking mess about you on, 
on uh be doing little uh videos and little spooks on you. Yeah, y'all just mad because y'all ain't got the money to do all the stuff that she be doing. Y'all just mad. Yeah, you too, Sheree. Mm -mm -mm. You don't pay nobody. That's how you got all that stuff done. You help them do it, and then you don't pay nobody. Word on the street, you don't pay nobody. And if Martell is looking to get paid for this little uh, stunt that y'all pulling, you, he, he, he gonna be, you gonna be in some trouble. Cause this man, his elevator is broken upstairs. It don't go all the way. Okay. You better uh, go borrow some money and make sure you pay pay that man. Because he ain't no man in my book. But you better make sure you got some money. Okay? Because he ain't going to ever live that down. Okay. Uh, then it goes to show Todd and Kenny at their home getting dressed. Uh, finding their outfits and stuff for the uh, Ross birthday party. And then Marlo uh, talking with her stylist. And he's trying to throw shade at something he don't know nothing about. And she talking about how she haven't seen Candy since New York. You know, Candy don't want to see you. She can pretend like she she is you by putting on uh, a wig like the ones that you wear. And then talking about your edges, that you ain't got no edges, that you have to have surgery to get your edges in. Yes, yeah, she, she did that. Yeah, and that was funny. That was funny. You didn't have no edges. Did you get you some edges? Yeah. So be happy. The edges grew in. Okay. I know she make fun of me on social media, <laughs> but it's okay. You, you're a big girl. You can take it because you be shading people anyway. So you just getting shade back. Just, you just can't match her shade. Cause you got to have money to match her shade and you ain't got that because you still in that little townhouse that you've been in since the show started so you can't match her energy okay so you better just be quiet okay now the last thing they showed was uh the party now there everybody's at the party uh getting out for the party and shade was going that mm, like Somebody said, son, you finally stepped up to the bar. Her party was down here, like the dollar store level nine is up here. She did good, but it couldn't match the parties that they thought. But still, it was good. I still give a thumbs up. But the shade was, was thick. It was thick. And like somebody said, with Sheree, you know, talking about how she went from one a community service job with the inmate to uh, a job with uh, community properties that ain't got a, a builder's license or a job. And then she went from there to somebody also, well, Lisa, like somebody else said, Lisa ain't got no ankle bracelet on. That's an upgrade. And that was supposed to be her girl that said that. Let's see what you say about that when you see it or hear it come back to you. Because she tell everything else on everybody else, but when she tell you, tell you what she said about your upgrade while you and her, her and that your friend was talking at your house about how they happy that you got my tail, but then she throw shade at you, son. Talking about leash, you ain't got on no, he ain't got no ankle bracelet on, but he almost had one on. Yeah, we don't know. He probably did wear one in the, I'm not saying no names or who he is, but yeah. He talking about he's upgraded in what book? Mm -mm. Have, to me, I think uh, the guy from uh, Locked Up was an upgrade than Martell. Yes, I do. Martell ain't no upgrade to nothing. Mm -mm. But like I said, it was a lot of shade being thrown around. And uh, she was ready to talk about Kenya's up to something. 
Yeah, you're up to something. Yeah, she is. She's trying to tell you that uh, your man, that you claiming it's your man right now. Got another girlfriend. And Atlanta, that's younger than you. Yeah, she's a young one too. And like somebody said, that she need to, mm -mm, that Sheree need to have her own spinoff show. And it should be called Watch Me Date These Dumb Dudes. Watch me date these. Click now. It is. Watch me date these dumb dudes. That's the spinoff show that uh, somebody said that she should have. Kenya said. Just allegedly, in my opinion. But that's why I think somebody said. That's why I think I saw. Yeah, I, th I think I did see that on. It. Yeah. Yeah. That she should have her own spinoff show. Watch me date these dumb dudes. Because they are dumb. Oop. You didn't hear that from me. Okay. But um, like they said, the last thing that was said before the show ended. Uh, once a cheater, always a cheater. Yes. And then they said, once a cheater, always a cheater. But you blank, blank, piece of blank, blank. They said, you yeah. Yeah, blank, blank, piece of blank, blank. Yeah. That's it, guys, and it's going to continue from there. It's going to show you what what happened after that because uh, that snake in the grass, Montel, that, that little she-devil going to come out of him. You know how he act like a little woman. That she-devil going to come out of him, and he and Kenya going to uh, get into it, but he don't know. Kenya is ready for you. She is not like that side chick or no other woman. She is ready for you. Kenya know how to shade you and break you down. She would, you be standing, she did that to you before you know it. Yeah, you gotta watch it. Cause she ain't there to play with you. But guys, you tell me what you think of the uh, show. Um, I'm getting ready to go, but I would love to hear what you all think. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button, guys. Uh, go ahead and hit it. Hit the like and subscribe button. Tell me exactly what you thought of uh, the first episode on Atlanta, Real, House of, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Tell me what you think. And uh, also, hit the thumbs up button, guys. You know, uh, the last couple nights, I wasn't just bubbly. <laughs> So it wasn't doing good. I can even laugh. See, it's still swollen on this side. But anyway, um, hit the uh, like and subscribe button, guys. And thank you for all your support. And just remember, I told you, I do have that pin on microphone. I just don't wear it. The next time, uh, I'll show you the other one I got. The one that sits on the counter. But I don't do that. Okay, so go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button, guys, and I'll talk to you later. Leave me a comment. All right? Thank you, guys.